Hello, today I'm going to talk about a grape variety that we don't know too much. It's called Torontes and it's from Argentina. You could say it's the only Argentina grape variety that exists. And that's because the history is quite interesting. So I'm going to tell you more about this special one. It tastes special and its origin is special. How did Torontes came to Argentina? Eh, because we know in the past that the European vines and the grapes were taken by emigrants and by viticulturists to Argentina. That's how Malbec arrived in Argentina. But for Torontes, it's a different story. Torontes is a crossing, and that means that it has a father and a mother who came together and brought the child, the Torontes, on the world. What happened for the Torontes, eh? this white variety? In Argentina, grapes were brought from Argentina, uh, from Europe to Argentina, but you could also cross those grapes inside of Argentina. And we know that the Torontes is a natural crossing of a grape called Listan Prieto from Castilla in La Mancha from Spain. So that's a Spanish grape. It's also called Criolla Chica in Argentina, a well-known grape. Uh, but not so well. It's producing, let's say, medium quality wines. But it's one of the, maybe the father of Torontes. The other grape is maybe a grape we know better. It's called Muscat de Alexandria. And we know that grape from Italy or Greece. We don't know the origin completely. But it's also a European grape. And in Argentina it's well known as Moscatel. If you cross these grapes together, you get the famous Torontes. So you can say, Let's say the father and mother came from Europe, but this child has been born in Argentina. Yeah? Like, which is valid for a lot of Argentina people too. Yeah. So it's reflecting maybe the Argentinian spirit. Okay, what's so special about this grape? Yeah? And maybe you know the Muscat, it's a really aromatic grape. That's also true for the Torontes. What's the position of Torontes in Argentina? It's 27% of all the white grapes. So it's quite an influential one. It's 5% of all the cultivated vineyards in Argentina. It's a highly aromatic wine. And yeah, it's considered as the best that came from the Criolla variety. Yeah? I told you already uh, later about the uh, Criolla Chica. Yeah? But now it's found only in Argentina. And where do you find it? Here's the map of Argentina. Uh, Salta in the north. Yeah? with regions like Cafayata and La Rioja eh, are the most common places to find a lot of Torontes. So it's more coming from the north. Eh. It has quite, let's say, tropical flavors, tropical aromas, and you can associate it with the north because you go more to the tropical area. Eh. So, but you also find a lot of Torontes uh, around Mendoza. Uh, but let's say the most famous one comes more for the north. There are also a lot of winemakers who first make the Torontes in the north and then they come back to Mendoza to take care of all the other grapes. Yeah? So it's quite a special kind of, kind of grape. Let's move on. Are there different sorts of Torontes? Yes, you have a few, not called varieties, but variants of Torontes. You have the best Torontes is coming from the Rioja region. So it's called the Riojano. Torontes Riojano. But we also have a Torontes Mendocino and so so San Juanino, which are less famous. They are lighter in style and not so expressive as the Riojano Torontes. So that's the high quality grape I'm going to talk about a little bit more. If you see Torontes in the spectrum of all the white grapes in Argentina, it's the leading one. But nowadays we also see a lot of Chardonnay in Argentina. A little bit of Sauvignon Blanc from cool places. Chenet, Sémillon, Viognier. So let's say it's not the only white grape, eh? but it, let's say it's the different grape. Chardonnays can also be very attractive, especially from the high quality vineyards, the high altitude vineyards. I think Chenet Blanc and Sémillon is also delivering more and more. But let's go back to the authentic variety of Argentina, the Torontes. Eh? And I think the best thing to do with it is to taste it. Uh, because, yeah, it's uh, a grape variety that is quite special. So, 
I will taste it with you and maybe if you have the chance later on, try to taste it yourself. Let's go for a little bit of tasting. Okay, there we go. A glass of Torrontes. See the slight golden color. Yeah, it's, it's a white, but it's a little bit goldish. It looks nice and pretty. Sometimes it can be a bit greenish, yeah, but this one is quite golden. And yeah, let's uh, swirl it a little yeah, so we get more aromas out. But aromas is not the problem of this wine. Yeah, it's an impressive aroma. Yeah, it smells quite rich and fruity aromas, a special also flowery aroma. So you can smell jasmine or white flowers, but also peach and even tropical aromas are there. So you get a very strong impression of the wine when you smell it. Eh? And that some people love it, some people hate it, but I like it, eh? especially for a glass that's combined with maybe a first course of the meal. Then we're going to taste it, of course. first thing we notice is that although it's very fruity and it smells almost sweet because you have tropical flavors, uh, maybe light chia, I already told you about those, but you don't find it in the taste. The taste is quite fresh. It has a good acidity, uh, it's refreshing and it's not sweet as you would expect. Some styles are a little bit sweet but most of the styles are dry and so they are a good combination with food. Uh, uh, and the acidity is also helping. Uh, we think, can think about combinations like ceviche uh, or maybe with a salad with a little slice of bitterness inside like with chicory because it has a little bit of bitterness um, and a good acidity. So for a first course combination it can be a very interesting glass uh, and it's different. Uh, maybe the smell is a little bit like the famous Gouroud's Termina from Alsace in France. Uh, but the taste is not so sweet, it's refreshing, it's quite special. That's why I call it the special one. And it's opening all kind of possibilities to be creative in food pairings. So it's also a bit of challenging wine. So, salute. Yeah. Let's taste the Torontes and try to find the best food pairings for it.